Sarah Fina, shall we move the dirt? Yes! The other day I was at Bunny and I found this. These are massive. You right? You having fun? So we have this left over. So we're gonna move these massive, massive things out the back. Excuse me, I'm going to put my hair off. And there we have it. So all the way along there. Okay, so Bobby, have we made a decision? This one. <laughs> you make me so scared. And some pavers to put behind the shed. Here we go. I'm gonna make the second one and then I'm gonna fill them with dirt, put the lily pillies in. Goo goo gaga! <laughs> Somebody's reverted back to eight months old. Today's mission I've done all the watering of the lily pillies, I've cleaned up after breakfast. Now we're up to Serafina's bedroom, done the whole house, sorted. I left her room to last so I wanna reorganize it a little bit and let me show you. So this is Serafina's bedroom before. As you can see, the girls have just come in here and took the box of blocks out. That only takes two seconds to create this mess. That's before, and then we'll show you an after. Serafina's only two, and she just moved into a house about three, uh, her house, into her room about three months ago. And um, so we're still working on her personality and what's gonna come out, what we can hang on walls, etc. I found one piece for her, which is that colorful elephant. I showed you in the last vlog, that definitely suits her. Um, elephant was one of the biggest words she learned. She could say elephant, just after one, she used to say elephant, and I'm like, oh, I couldn't imagine five kids, and she's definitely got a very clear vocabulary. Uh, with that said, I give you a room tour. Here we go. So, you enter her doorway. Oh, this is her chair and this guy. But this chair is going to go down to the playroom, and he's coming in onto the shelf. But I want her to pick the face before I put, her, put him on the shelf. Anyway, so here we go. So, Serafina right now is sleeping in a different room. So she does have a Minnie Mouse, like this baby Minnie Mouse. Like this one she got from Disney when she was one. Disney World when she was one. So what we did, um, she's sleeping in the other room. I thought, I'm not going in there to go get it because she's a sleeping two-year-old. That's all I can say. And this is her bed. And she has the same cover, that, cover as Jenna. Jenna is her favorite person in the world. So she had to have the same blanket as Jenna. As you saw on my last vlog, this is her painting or picture. It's actually a poster. It's colorful, just like her personality. Okay, so her bed, from her bed, I moved her crib here because she loves her baby so much. So her baby's sleeping right now, so I want to keep it there like that. Oh, got her little dummy here and everything like that, and her favorite car. I don't even know why she likes this car. It's got a radio in it, so you can turn it on and off the radio. She just absolutely adores it. So I would never get rid of that. I always keep it out, but she plays that every day. So then what I did up here, she loves the baby sharks so much. This is the puzzle I got for her somewhere between zero and one. We still have the grandpa shark. I cannot find the grandma shark. And then these um, letter actually lights up. It says, all you need is love for a two year old. I think that's all she needs at this stage. And then sleeping eyes. And then this one here also lights up. Well, this is really cute at nighttime. So this is pretty much like her nightlight at nighttime. I got that from Kmart and that, that from Spotlight, I'm pretty sure. Now, this is Jenna's old retired picture, so we've just used it to brighten up the room for um, Serafina. Serafina does love Paw Patrol. She, he lo she loves Skye because her cousin's name is Skye, so she relates to Skye the puppy. Um, this is the only thing I've got on here. Because <laughs> so I got this, um, it's called a Cat Flex, something like that. It's from Ikea, about $80, $90 and then $6 for the drawers. And then so in here is her Peppa Pig stuff. She absolutely loves Peppa Pig in here. I'll show you under the bed too. Under the bed, she actually has her, Peppa Pig. this guy she pulls out. And then all her Peppa Pig toys and that are in the dollhouse. But this is where she, I just push it in. She always has had that under there. She loves it. So I can just keep it made for her. So she can just pull it out when she wants to. This one I just can't get rid of yet. That was her very first major toy from me and I'm a person I keep the first major toy for all kids 
and she used to love it so much. And these are a couple of toys she still has not outgrown at these toys. That was Jenna's, she's outgrown that. But that telephone she loves and this dog she pulls around the house and of course her ball because every day we have to play ball before bed. And then of course her array of books. Now I don't put too many books on bookcases. I think being two, she, so they don't get overwhelmed. At two years old, you can get overwhelmed quite fast. And also it keeps the room tidier enough, but she doesn't make too much mess like Jenna. Jenna's our messy child. Mega blocks. So loves building mega blocks, that's full. And then we have here, this is her a random. So when she, Christmas she was given, some Olaf and Anna and they're all in there so she only plays with them randomly and then in here is all the train sets so it's Sebastian this used to be Sebastian's but he is seven he still plays with this with the kids but um Serafina has claimed them she loves them she plays them pretty much every day so from there we move on to this is her all-time favorite over any toy she's got other than Peppa Pig she plays um restaurants every single day so what I did because we keep getting more, more food. I put two, um, I um, came up baskets in there. Hi. So, um, I kept this here. Just excuse them in the background there, just gonna be playing. Um, and then I kept this here. This, this, this was actually Jenna's old one. We've had this so many years. It's even got scratches on it. And then her Minnie Mouse ears, her very first ones from America. And then here, I just put this um, little bucket for her bits and pieces for her dollhouse. And that's her dollhouse. So the top shelf, the top shelf is all she uses for the dollhouse at this stage. So I normally just stack all the dollhouse stuff in there and there for her. It makes it easy for her to get around. And that is it. Let's do a quick Pam. Can I play now? Okay, you can play. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> Jenna's just about to play dollhouses. Yeah. Oh, you're putting your stuff back? What happened when I was cleaning? I didn't put her stuff back. See, she has her system. It's like, Mommy, you did not clean my kitchen well enough, did I? I didn't clean your kitchen well enough, did I, baby? Uh -huh. So she's putting it back and she's getting everything all sorted. And then we have this little basket. She's got more food down the bottom. I think she's gonna organize. Yeah. Okay, Jenna, let Bobby do it. And then this one, you can actually drive to your destinations. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So I thought since I was doing a room tour with Serafina's room, we'll just quickly show you Sebastian's. Now this is not stage. This is pretty much every day how he lives. Um, I just made the bed. <laughs> um, made the bed as in put the top cover on. I'll show you. So this is how he lives in his little room. He shares a room with his brother and this is his part of the room. So what I did, um, knowing that we were gonna buy this house, I bought all these um, stickers from, this is Disney, Walt Disney, um, Goofy, so Goofy's, uh, Jenna, Serafina, step away from his stuff. So Sebastian absolutely adores Goofy. I don't know, something about his goofiness makes Sebastian smile all the time. So what I did for him, I got um, uh, Minnie Mouse, which is completely different stickers, but I thought I'd do Minnie Mouse stepping on the paint and then did Goofy. So he pretty much he's splashing up his name and Goofy's like, Sebastian, like his bedroom. <laughs> And then I got some more little stickers for him. And this is his photo from Walt Disney World visiting Goofy. So, yep. And then there's a couple, no, a couple um, souvenirs he got from Walt Disney World. Um, he's got his Goofy hat. He's got his Goofy and Minnie Mouse and another Goofy hat. And this is all his displays. We can't, remember, we don't touch his stuff. Sophie, come here. That's the paint on her face. We've been painting. And then Jamie is actually on this side, but I won't show you because I want to ask permission first to show you his room, but his side of the room. But this is all Sebastian. So Sebastian gets his own space. They also have a big playroom that they are, um, that they have their stuff in as well, including computers, etc. I've just cleaned the hallway. Jenna, can you pick that doll up, baby, and put it in your bedroom so I can put it away? Okay, so okay, so while I was washing up from breakfast, Jenna knows we're going for a walk now for my morning walk. She's sick. She's home from school sick. And she she surprised me by getting her and Bubby dressed. Look at this. You did so well. Me and Bina was in pajamas. Me and Bina was in pajamas. Yeah, you were in pajamas and we got changed. You got changed. I'm so grateful. Thank you. So we're gonna get ready to go for a walk. Okay, 
Okay, so we're up to the hard part of the the walk. It's a one point. Do you want me show you? K hill. It's on an incline. You can't really see it. No, you can't see it on camera, but I you can feel it in the legs. So this goes for 1.5, and um, we're just about to hit the hard part. And I'm pushing probably about 30 kilo pram. Jenna's about 22 kilos. Serafina is about 12. <laughs> All the way up the hill. Yay! <laughs> Let's do it. This is walking with nine kids today. We're taking them for the 5K walk with us. We're in a wetlands. Are you excited? Are we going to be working very hard today? Yeah. We are. You only do, I know. You can help a little bit today. Whoa, look at her go. Baby. Wee. Nice job. High five. Yay. Look at Bash working hard. Shovel it up, guys. He's king of the mountain. Okay, we're done. Yes. Okay. So, Jenna's going to show you our walkthrough. This is our pot plant garden. Jenna, walk us through. Let's go, baby. What's this? Uh, tomato. Do you want to show everybody where the cucumbers are? We've got four coming through. And do you know? Do you want to point to it? Yep. So, one there. One here. So, this one will be ready because I'm only going to let them grow probably about to about there and start eating them. And then, so here we go. What's this, Jenna? Uh, beans. <laughs> beans and... So here we've got um, snow peas because we like snow peas in like everything and you can eat them as they are. Then here we've got coriander right through. Do you know you can eat beans because they're so yummy. Yep, ah. this is like my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and this is my favorite fruit. I've never been able to grow carrots in my whole life. Being said, these are literally seven days old and they're sprouting. I don't know even if you can see how tall they are. They're seven days old, everybody. I cannot believe it. And these are literally in a pot. This one is the highest. Yeah, that's the highest, and that's like, I'm gonna... And these ones are the way bit highest? Yeah, these little fellas are also only seven days old. I cannot believe it. We always eat tomatoes. This here should be about a 20-day um, bean. It's pretty tall. It's like almost three fingers up. This is the size it should probably be. Look how beautiful that little thing is. And then... So I'm really shocked to be honest. I'm very shocked to get this size and then all the other stuff. And then I'll show you, this is how they look. They come up, they come through. This is so adorable. And if you're not into gardening, I'm so sorry, but I'm not into gardening, but I'm into trying to work out how to feed my family through gardening. <laughs> Thank you for coming in and joining me in my journey for this week. I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday on my next weekly vlog anyway thank you guys for coming around hit the like button and drop me a comment and yes i have paint all over me that is proof that i have been painting with my girls today <laughs> i think it's like what time is it okay it's only 11 o'clock and they've just taken off i've got one hour to lunch so i'm thinking let's get this up let me start editing and um i will see you next sunday on my next weekly vlog see you guys <laughs>